Welcome if you're new here. And if you are a returning drop, what do you do, girl? This is day two. Um, yesterday, I did do the wash and go as you guys saw, but I say day two because I wore my hair down yesterday. I left the house, so I wasn't going outside with the hair banded up, so I took it down. Um, it was like this, full of definition, but it did not um, stay stretched. It shrunk a little bit and it could have been a humidity outside. Um, the fact that when I stretched my hair, it probably was for only about 20 minutes uh, to maybe 40 while I did my makeup and then I took it down. So this was stretched overnight. These are day two results. Um, I'm not mad at it and I'll tell you why. Um, I don't know if my parts from where I band my hair is showing, but it does have movement. Um, it does have shine as you guys can see, and it is full of definition. Now, 
because I did not spray a lot of this. It's because the other two products that I used by Uncle Funky's daughter was the Super Curl Cream and the first video I did trying their product was the um, the gel. I'm looking right at it, but I didn't want to get out of frame, but <sighs> yeah, the Curly Magic. So I noticed with the Curly Magic and the Super Curl Cream that it made my hair extremely soft. Like it lasted for one day. Even though I applied wet line over top, it was extremely soft. I enjoyed the fact that it did not have any flakes, you know, when I did both products. But the fact that it didn't last like I wanted to, um, it was very pretty when I took it down. I do have a video on both products. So um, you can scroll right through the videos. You'll see them. They were recently done within the last couple of months. So the leave-in conditioner, it was, it did have slip, but not as much as the curl cream or the curly magic and it's probably because i didn't use so much when i use this i don't know if you guys saw in the video but you could see the suds it it did that thing you could just hear it um even after i applied the gel when i was just smoothing my hair down i still kept hearing the suds so like my hair has a hole because of the wet line but i think that the definition that I have is mainly because of wet line, also the shine. Um, like I said, I did not use a lot because I didn't want my hair to be overly soft and then I probably wouldn't have got but one or two days from it. But overall, as a leave-in conditioner, as you guys know here that I don't really like leave-in conditioners. Um, the only one I really really liked but i haven't used it in well over a year is the camille rose honey hydrate and that because same thing is super if you use too much it's just gonna leave your hair super soft and if that's what you're looking for then that's fine but like i can't even say like the frizz like it's gonna frizz up but it has this different look than if you apply, you know, the Stronghold Gel and it frizzed up, totally different look. And I know it's because of the nettle and the marshmallow root in it. Um, but other than that, I had no problem with it. Like I said, um, I like that it does detangle. But I guess if I had used more, I probably would have got a lot more slip. And But then that would have led to super soft curls that I wasn't looking for. I like for my wash and goes to last me at least a week, five days at the most, and then, you know, I can do my wash and go over. Uh, so that is that for this wash and go video. And if you're new here, you like my vibe, this type of content, you wanna see more from me, please go ahead, hit the subscribe button and turn on your notifications so you'll be notified every time I upload. Like the video. It pushes our videos into the algorithm so more people can see it in their suggestions and, you know, decide to stop on by. Leave a comment. i like to get to know you guys as well as you get to know me. If you have any product suggestions, any videos you'd like to see from me, let me know down there. And share the video because sharing is caring. And I will see you guys in my next upload. Peace.